Welcome to an in-depth exploration of one of the most remarkable machines in aviation history, the Boeing CH-47 Chinook helicopter. If you've ever watched a military operation unfold, seen disaster relief efforts in action, or marveled at a massive load being airlifted to a remote location, chances are you've witnessed the Chinook at work. This isn't just any helicopter, it's a twin-rotor Titan, a heavy-lift legend that's been in service since the 1960s. Today, we're going to peel back the layers and answer the big question. How does a Chinook helicopter work? We'll explore its unique design, the power behind its flight, the magic of its rotors, and how it all comes together to make this aircraft a global icon. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast or just curious about engineering marvels, stick with me. This is going to be a fascinating ride. Section 1. What makes the Chinook unique? The Chinook stands out in the helicopter world because of its tandem rotor configuration. Unlike traditional helicopters with a single main rotor and a small tail rotor, like the famous Bell UH-1 Huey, the Chinook has two massive rotors, one positioned at the front of the aircraft and another at the rear. These rotors are mounted on pylons that rise above the fuselage, giving the helicopter its distinctive silhouette. Why go with two rotors? The answer lies in physics and practicality. A single rotor generates torque, a twisting force that tries to spin the helicopter's body in the opposite direction of the blades. To counter that, most helicopters use a tail rotor, but that eats up power and limits how much weight the aircraft can lift. The Chinook's designers at Boeing took a different approach by placing two rotors that spin in opposite directions, clockwise for one, counterclockwise for the other. The torque from each cancels out the other. This eliminates the need for a tail rotor entirely, freeing up engine power for lifting. And lift it does. Modern variants like the CH-47F can hoist up to 28,000 pounds. Think armored vehicles, artillery pieces, or even small boats. The tandem rotor design also makes the Chinook incredibly stable, even in gusty winds or when hovering with a heavy load slung underneath. It's like a perfectly balanced seesaw in the sky, built to carry the heaviest burdens with ease. Section 2. The Powerhouse, Engines and Transmission Let's dive into what powers this beast. The Engines The Chinook is typically equipped with two Honeywell T55 turboshaft engines, though earlier models used different variants. Each of these engines churns out over 4,000 shaft horsepower, enough to rival some small jet planes. They're mounted high on the rear fuselage, just above the back rotor pylon, which keeps them safe from dust, sand and debris kicked up during low-altitude operations, a critical feature for missions in deserts or rugged terrain. These aren't piston engines like you'd find in a car. They're gas turbines, burning jet fuel to spin a turbine that drives the helicopter's systems but the engines don't connect directly to the rotors. That's where the transmission comes in, a mechanical masterpiece. The power from both engines feeds into a combining gearbox, which merges their output into a single synchronized system. From there, long drive shafts extend forward and aft, delivering power to the front and rear rotor hubs. These shafts are supported by bearings and carefully aligned to handle the immense forces involved. The transmission also includes a differential mechanism, allowing the rotors to adjust their relative speeds or loads for maneuvering. If one engine fails, the system can still run both rotors off the remaining engine, a life-saving redundancy. Think of it as the Chinook's nervous system, coordinating raw power into precise motion, all while enduring the stresses of flight and combat. Section 3. The Rotors, Lift and Control Now, let's zoom in on the stars of the show, the rotors. Each Chinook rotor has three or more blades. Modern versions often use composite materials for strength and weight savings and spans over 60 feet in diameter. That's longer than some small airplanes. These blades aren't just spinning sticks. They're airfoils, shaped like airplane wings to generate lift. As they rotate, they push air downward at high speed. According to Bernoulli's principle, the faster moving air above the blade creates lower pressure, while the slower air below creates higher pressure, lifting the helicopter. At the same time, Newton's third law kicks in. The downward push of air results in an upward force on the blades. Together, these forces let the Chinook defy gravity. But lift is only half the story. Control is where the magic happens. Each rotor hub has a swashplate, a complex assembly of rotating and non-rotating parts that tilts and adjusts the pitch of the blades. When the pilot moves the cyclic control, like a joystick, the swashplate tilts, changing the blade angle differently as they spin, which directs the lift forward, backward or sideways. The collective control adjusts the pitch of all blades at once, increasing or decreasing total lift for climbing or descending. 
Here's the tandem rotor twist. The front and rear rotors can be controlled independently. Increase the rear rotor's pitch more than the front and the nose tilts down, moving the Chinook forward. Adjust them differently side to side and it turns. This differential control, combined with the lack of a tail rotor, gives the Chinook agility that single rotor helicopters can only dream of. It's like a dancer with two perfectly coordinated partners, moving in sync across the sky. Section 4. Flight Dynamics – How It Moves so, how does all this come together in flight? Imagine the startup sequence. The pilots flip switches, the engines roar to life with a high-pitched whine, and the rotors begin to turn, slowly at first, then faster, until they're a blur. As the blades bite into the air, the Chinook lifts off vertically, no runway required. This vertical takeoff and landing capability, VTOL in aviation lingo, is a hallmark of helicopters, but the Chinook's twin rotors make it especially good at it, even with a full load. To hover, the pilot balances the lift from both rotors so the helicopter stays level, adjusting constantly for wind or weight shifts. To fly forward, the pilot increases the pitch of the rear rotor blades more than the front, tilting the overall lift vector forward. Think of it like leaning into a sprint. For backward or sideways motion, the swash plates tilt the rotor's thrust in the desired direction. Turning is a bit trickier. The pilot can use differential pitch, more lift on one rotor than the other, or even slightly vary the rotor speeds through the transmission to yaw the aircraft left or right. The Chinook's long body and wide rotor separation give it a stable platform, but they also mean it's not as nimble as smaller choppers. It's built for power, not pirouettes. Add a 20-ton load hanging from its cargo hook, and the flight dynamics get even more complex, requiring constant adjustments. It's a ballet of physics performed at 170 miles per hour. Second 5. The Fuselage. Built for purpose. The Chinook's body, or fuselage, is as critical as its rotors. It's a long, boxy structure, over 50 feet from nose to tail, designed to maximize cargo space. The rear features a wide ramp that lowers hydraulically, allowing troops, vehicles, or supplies to roll in and out quickly. This ramp can even stay open in flight for paratrooper drops or sling load operations. Inside, the cargo bay can hold up to 50 fully equipped soldiers, two Humvees, or a mix of pallets and gear. Flexibility is the name of the game. The floor is reinforced with rollers and tie-down points to secure heavy loads, and the walls are rugged, built to withstand the vibrations of those massive rotors. Up front, the cockpit houses two pilots and often a flight engineer, surrounded by analog gauges in older models or digital displays in newer ones like the CH-47F. The controls are duplicated for redundancy, and the engineer monitors engine performance, rotor sync, and hydraulic systems, vital for a helicopter this complex. The fuselage is made of aluminum alloys, with critical areas reinforced to handle the stresses of flight and landing on uneven ground. Its high engine placement and watertight hull even let it land on water in emergencies. It's not sleek or sexy, it's a utilitarian beast, engineered to carry the weight of the world. Section 6. Real-World Applications The Chinook's design shines in the real world. Since its debut in Vietnam, where it hauled howitzers up jungle mountains, it's been a military mainstay. Modern versions support special forces, inserting teams behind enemy lines with pinpoint hovering accuracy. In civilian life, it's a disaster relief hero. After Hurricane Katrina, Chinooks airlifted generators and food to flooded areas. Its twin rotor power lets it operate in high and hot conditions. Think Afghanistan's mountains or Iraq's deserts, where thinner air reduces lift for other aircraft. Ever seen a Chinook sling a wrecked helicopter or a shipping container? That's its triple hook system at work, distributing weight for stability. It can even carry internal loads like medical stations or command posts, transforming into a flying base. The CH-47's versatility and reliability, some airframes have logged over 50 years of service, make it indispensable. It's not just a helicopter, it's a lifeline, a hauler, and a history maker rolled into one. And there you have it, a deep dive into the Boeing CH-47 Chinook. From its counter-rotating rotors and turbine engines to its rugged fuselage and real-world heroics, this helicopter is a testament to human ingenuity. It's a machine that turns raw power into precise action, lifting the impossible and flying where others can't. Whether it's troops storming out of that rear ramp or supplies dropping to a disaster zone, the Chinook's story is one of strength, adaptability, and engineering brilliance. Next time you hear that unmistakable thump-thump of its rotors overhead, you'll know the science and sweat that keep it aloft. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies. If you want to know about B2 Stealth Bomber and how it works, then click on the video showing on the screen and subscribe to the channel.